I'm Yang Shin, and I uh, am moderator of this uh, session. And I would like to propose that we uh, change the format a little bit for this session. Uh, we'll have uh, three presenters, and then discussants will uh, play their role. Then I would uh, uh, open the floor for general discussion at the end. Uh, that way we may be able to complete our session uh, by uh, 6.30, which is the uh, scheduled time to start our uh, dinner party. Okay. So uh, in the interest of time, uh, I will skip introducing uh, the background of the presenters and discussants, which are available in the back uh, side of these proceedings. Uh, the first uh, presenters are uh, Professor Kang and Dr. Jongchul Kim of Asia Center, Seoul National University. Uh, please, Professor Kang. And both Professor Kang and Dr. Kim will uh, make a presentation jointly together. Okay, go ahead. Hello, everyone, and nice meeting you. Uh, uh, the topic of the, uh, today's presentation is about uh, transfer of a business practice across border in East Asia. I work together with uh, Professor Kang uh, about uh, this subject, and um, we're going to present together. I'm going to cover the, uh, the first half of the, the whole presentation, and the rest of them will be uh, uh, Professor Kang will present the rest of the part. Uh, but before that, uh, this is not uh, the uh, finished the work. We are still. Uh, this work is uh, still in progress. So the conclusion part will be uh, very preliminary, and um, so uh, we need to uh, get a uh, do your positive comment on that. How to develop uh, this idea? Uh, <laughs> critical comment and positive comment. How to make it better? Uh, the content is uh, uh, the first part is uh, what is uh, this this research is about. And I'm going to introduce uh, what you are working on, and uh, why did we start this research? This this be uh, the background of the, the, this research project. And the um, third part is uh, the analytical framework, but this is really about uh, how to we add, uh, our strategy to uh, how to compare the different cases and um, what we are looking at to the negotiation process, uh, worker and firm and environment, and then. Um, uh, but the other part is uh, the, our tentative finding and um, our plan ahead. So what is the, this research is about? Uh, uh, we uh, wonder the, how the norms and rules and institutions, uh, the invisible thing, how they are uh, the transferred in East Asia. A lot of studies was uh, done, the flows and movement uh, more specifically, we are looking at that uh, how the business practices are uh, the move around uh, in East Asia. Uh, as a background of the, this research, we look at that uh, in East Asia, a lot of uh, studies was uh, done uh, uh, integration, how the East Asian uh, economy and um, the communities are, the, are creating with that the, the movement of a lot of things. Um, so the money and goods and people in East Asia, uh, there are a lot of uh, the flows and movement, and a lot of studies were done about the, their investment, uh, trade, and migration. But we found that uh, the very few studies uh, was done about the, uh, the invisible thing, uh, intangible thing. So we wanted to that the thick understanding, the description, of the invisible matter and um, more sociological and um, cultural studies was needed to understand those kind of uh, um, movement in Asia. And at the same time, because that, uh, this uh, conference as a, whole, as a whole is about uh, the uh, Asian capitalism, we thought that uh, this study may, uh, could, or uh, contribute to the micro uh, finding out micro foundation of a continuity and uh, path dependency in East Asia. Uh, for example, uh, 
since the late 1990, uh, there were great changes in regulation and legal form in the former institution of the corporate sector in East Asia. But uh, despite that, those apparent changes, old ways of doing is uh, still continue at the firm level. And um, they are uh, uh, continuing to be produced uh, uh, through the, their organizational practice, maintaining the, their own specific uh, business culture. So we wonder what makes them reproduced over time and um, what is the mechanism, how they are reproduced over time, even uh, the environment outside of the former institution, uh, the regulation has uh, heavily changed. And at the same time, we want to look at that, uh, the interplay between the firm, uh, firm is uh, the, within the, uh, uh, the environment, uh, uh, look at that, the interplay between the firms and external environment at the uh, major or macro level. As, uh, uh, because at this time we are uh, conducting the, the uh, case, uh, we are doing a case study. Uh, the really what we are working on is that uh, internal working mechanism to find out, uh, internal working mechanism of a multinational firm uh, in this region. Primary case is uh, Iris Oyama, it's a Japanese firm. It's a, a plastic container manufacturing company. They also the producing small appliances. You know what, what I mean? Uh, the small, the, the fan and a lot of the, the kitchenette things. And um, they also are uh, producing a lot of uh, consumer products. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the, the factory itself is in China. And Korea, uh, not not in Korea. Uh, they they have only a sales unit in uh, Korea and in, in the United States, Europe, uh, uh, Netherlands. They have uh, their own the manufacturing unit. Mm, with this case, we are looking at uh, how the, the organizational practice and business culture is uh, transferred uh, to the firm within the firm is uh, uh, the foreign setup. And um, uh, further, secondly, we are looking at that. We are trying to look at that how the transfer the business culture practice uh, mingle or with that the existing ones and um, creating kind of a, the hybrid in the new context. As in the the uh, real uh, the cases we are looking at manufacturing unit in China in Darien and um, sales unit in Korea. And um, uh, we also visited headquarters in Japan. <laughs> and then we did a lot of interview with the people working in there. Uh, I just covered that, uh, what is the, the, our research is about. And then second thing is, uh, why did you start this research? This is uh, the, the background of our research. Maybe uh, this give uh, more information, uh, understand why we started this research. Um, last year, uh, Professor Kang and I visited Darien, uh, not as a part of uh, the Asian Capitalism Project, but as a part of uh, the Transnational Asia Project uh, supported by the Asia Center. It's, it, it is about how the things and the um, uh, visible, invisible things are moving around in East Asia. So we uh, went to visit, uh, we uh, made a visit to Darien and Shenyang, and I'm um, looking at that, uh, some uh, contrast between the, the uh, shopping mall operated by Lotte, Korean Lotte, and um, shop floor Aire Soyama. We visited manufacturing unit. And the contrast to what I mean is that uh, the shopping mall was uh, supposed to be, we, we think, uh, more, much tighter and cleaner than the uh, shop floor. But was, uh, what, what you're looking at that was uh, totally the, the, the opposite. The shop floor was much cleaner, tighter than the, the shop, uh, shopping mall. So we thought that what made uh, this kind of a difference between the Korean and Japanese uh, foreign setup? Uh, because uh, not just uh, between the, the shopping mall and um, a shop floor, uh, the shopping mall was uh, constructed, operated by Korean business, and uh, the manufacturing unit was uh, the uh, transfer uh, of the Japanese firm. And um, we thought that we, uh, uh, the, the business culture and organizational practice May, maybe the, the key part to make the difference. And um, after that, we thought, oh, then, 
how the, the, the business uh, culture and organizational practices are transferred uh, across the border uh, in these firms. <clears throat> Theoretical interests also push our project. I'm doing the economic sociology and Professor Kang is on uh, cultural studies, so we have a more or less uh, sociological interest, not just a material interest, uh, the power, but uh, the norms and rules and the generally institutions are the, uh, important in social analysis, we agree. Um, second thing, uh, transfer mechanism. We wonder how the invisible things are moving around in uh, this area. Third one is that uh, I already covered that, but uh, when some the the culture the practices are transferred to other contexts, they make uh, they have another tension and conflict with the existing one. Uh, with that, it will create a hybrid one, and then what is the process mix and match and negotiation process? Uh, it's a kind of a, a political process. We want to look at that, and. Um, um, more than that, uh, within the firm, uh, when a new hybrid culture was uh, created, we, we uh, thought that it will go beyond the, the uh, firm and um, disperse to the society, in this case in China. That means that the Japanese uh, business culture, in a way, uh, transferred to the, the firm and um, it will go beyond the firm and to the uh, Chinese society in general. That means that uh, uh, real the culture and practice uh, things that invisible things is a transfer one country to the other country to the channel of the within the uh, firms with uh, internal network. That's what it thought. So analytical framework uh, of this research is uh, just a uh, uh, preliminary, but is uh, as I told you, is uh, I, I gave, you, gave you just uh, two slides. One is a comparative research strategy. Uh, the, what makes a difference? We thought that uh, national business culture, uh, there might be a, there must be a, there, there is a, there, there are the, the difference, but at the same time, the uh, firm's size is uh, one of the factor to de to define uh, different culture. For example, large firms, uh, they have uh, the more sophisticated, uh, regulated, uh, the uh, kind of a. a the business culture, but uh, we conjecture that a small and medium-sized firm has a very loose control uh, of their business culture. Uh, but uh, this is uh, just our hypothesis. So we uh, cross that uh, each national uh, business culture uh, across the with the, uh, by the firm size has uh, uh, six different type, but we, we cannot cover the, all of them, but it's uh, just uh, our framework for uh, conducting our interview and real research. Uh, next part is uh, the more interesting part is the po political process and the nego negotiation process. Um, as uh, uh, the second, our the theoretical interest was uh, about how uh, the old practices are still uh, continue keep going even after even after the, the apparent change in former institution. So we thought that. Uh, in this figure, the left one, the parent firm, uh, they have uh, the, their own uh, capsulated the, the national business culture, so there might be a the keep uh, continuing negotiation, uh, negotiation part one on, on the far left. There must be a uh, the uh, negotiation process, and the second part of it, the when the the uh, mother firm transfer their business culture practice to foreign setup, there should be another the, uh, tension and conflict and negotiation process. And the last part is uh, how the new hybrid practices uh, uh, transfer and negotiate with uh, uh, the foreign uh, business culture. That was uh, uh, with uh, three point. We will you know, look at that uh, in uh, this uh, project. This is the, uh, the, the first half. Uh, uh, our research project and the tentative finding is covered by Professor Scott. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jong Chul. Uh, the, this is kind of uh, tentative findings uh, to compare uh, Korean and Japanese uh, companies working in uh, China, the Darien area, 
or the Liaoning uh, province, uh, we selected uh, Iris Oyama, a Japanese company, uh, the factory, and uh, Lotte uh, in uh, Shenyang, uh, the central city, uh, the city of uh, the Liaoning province. Uh, the, but we couldn't, uh, uh, we cannot present or actually compare because uh, we, didn't, we couldn't finish the whole uh, interview or that we need to compare. So uh, this time uh, I would we would like to present just uh, a tentative, uh, uh, just focusing on the Iris Oyama. Uh, Iris Oyama in China factory uh, does have about uh, 5,000 uh, workers on the shop floor. Uh, they uh, are about uh, 15 years old in uh, China. Uh, and recently they uh, opened another factory in uh, Suzhou area in uh, near uh, the Shanghai. Uh, they, uh, the annual revenue, the whole company, is about uh, four billion U.S. dollars a year. It's uh, I don't know it's big or not. Uh, anyway, uh, but they uh, compare a uh, contrast in contrast to the Lotte. Uh, they uh, out of five thousand workers, only uh, they have five Japanese uh, managing uh, the uh, workers there. So the uh, Iris Oyama, the, the CEO, uh, when we uh, met him in uh, uh, the Sendai, the headquarter, he just uh, apparently say, explicitly said, uh, we uh, have localized uh, into China, uh, just uh, referring to this number, only five Japanese, uh, the managerial uh, staffs, and 5,000 uh, Chinese workers. But, uh, but what we found uh, when we uh, just look, uh, the, uh, look into the factory itself, we found uh, interesting things. Let me show you this, uh, this couple of pictures first. Uh, this is, uh, you can see these, uh, the, uh, the catchy phrase. Uh, it says, to make goods. Uh, 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 sorry, I, my Chinese pronunciation is uh, quite bad. It's just minimal. Xiangshan Shan Pum Zhou Shu Xiang Shan Yan, which means to make goods is to make a human being. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, the transfer of organizational culture within this firm is done by making people uh, Japanese. This is what we observed. Uh, this is uh, the quality and the production uh, performance, uh, monthly performance. But you can see uh, these are written in Japanese, not Chinese. 5,000 workers uh, have to learn Japanese language. And this one too. Uh, 2014, uh, the, the task uh, goal uh, here is uh, the list of uh, uh, the level as super A, B, C, D. Uh, super level means qu uh, quality uh, 0 0, uh, 0.5 uh, percent uh, below and uh, accomplishment 110 percent. That's a kind of uh, standard accomplishment uh, to classify by the super level. Uh, this belongs uh, the applied to the uh, the uh, what is the vice uh, director upper uh, the below vice director level uh, the workers and this one is another uh, the, the 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 control or regulation of or evaluation of the different uh, levels of workers here the f the first level. Uh, line, uh, the cheap line, and it says here, oh, sorry, it says here, uh, basic requirement, if they want, uh, if they want to be classified uh, the f first level, uh, they will get 
the more uh, bonus if they uh, belong to this accomplishment. Uh, the, the top number one is uh, innovation of the new product. Uh, yeah, innovation of new product uh, or uh, just uh, many different kinds of uh, the qualification uh, just described here. But interestingly, uh, this one uh, can, uh, is in, uh, written in Chinese. In the shop floor, uh, all the uh, computer program run by the Japanese window, not Chinese. So even the, uh, the, the janitors should read Japanese language to uh, put their, uh, what they did every day. But this one, the requirement of the evaluation written in Chinese, that's kind of interesting. Uh, this one is the, uh, the production line one, uh, the quality control. Uh, this is kind of reward list uh, every month. And this one is another interesting thing here. Uh, the uh, line, the production line uh, one, but security requirement five, as they said, evaluation list. And uh, under that, uh, the title, there is uh, the, the slogan there, uh, and written in uh, Chinese, Mei Yo Joi Hao, uh, Ji, Ji Yo Geng Hao. Uh, there is no uh, best. There is always the better one. So it's very interesting, you know. There is no fixed uh, level of uh, the best. They want to get better and better and better. And uh, this is the left one, the list of the name of the workers, and the line number one, all the security uh, uh, check evaluation just posted every month. And this is another uh, the quality control. This is the quality training uh, program, uh, the criteria. Uh, this is uh, what we can do to uh, promote the quality uh, consciousness kind of uh, working. Uh, so the manager level and workers level. So if I read uh, some of the title, it's quite interesting. Here it's a managerial uh, level. The first uh, line says, uh, it says, uh, the quality uh, does not uh, come out of the monitor or checking. Uh, the quality comes out of the production line. That's first. Uh, and the second uh, is, uh, uh, we better always check uh, the current status. And after the, uh, the checking the, the status, uh, please uh, start the, your work. So that's the second one. Uh, so these uh, very uh, detailed, uh, specific, uh, the monitoring or kind of work ethics or work requirements specified. Uh, interestingly, in uh, Chinese, not uh, Japanese, uh, requiring uh, all Japanese language window, only these the work uh, uh, requirement sheet uh, written in. Uh, Chinese. So, okay, these, these are kind of uh, interesting and uh, we interviewed some of uh, manager, uh, managers and uh, top level uh, managers too in the, in, in the factory, inside the factory. Uh, so what uh, we can find uh, after the, the looking at these kind of things, uh, the implication uh, is they said uh, the, the Japanese company, the, the Iris Oyama, claimed uh, they uh, tried to be kind of localize uh, their factory into the Chinese uh, uh, the culture or the Chinese uh, the, uh, the kind of working uh, culture. But apparently, uh, they just moving uh, uh, Japanese uh, factories in the uh, Chinese land. Uh, it's 
just looks like uh, uh, the cocoon, kind of. So I called it cocoonization ra rather than uh, the, the localization. So, uh, and uh, in contrast to this, uh, the, Lotte, the Korean Lotte in Shenyang, the Lotte department store and the, the huge commercial complex development there, the shopping malls and the apartments and the, uh, the entertainment uh, complex. Uh, so we, but we couldn't finish the interview, so I cannot uh, elaborate uh, what uh, uh, they do. But it's very uh, uh, different from the, what the Japanese company is doing. So uh, uh, what we are, uh, need to do in the future uh, is uh, we need to compare the Lotte and uh, the Iris Oyama and what uh, the focusing on two things, how the uh, local uh, workers uh, or the, the companies uh, negotiate with the local people, uh, interplaying uh, between the foreign and local culture at the form level, uh, and also negotiation process, uh, the focusing on the interplay between the new setups and the existing business culture. Okay, let me, uh, this is almost a conclusion. Uh, and uh, this is uh, what uh, kind of uh, hypothesis uh, after uh, the interviewing, tentative hy uh, hyp hypothesis is there. The, the strong, the local culture is strong and weak and the, the parent firm uh, culture is strong and weak. So we uh, uh, just set up uh, the four uh, kind of ty typology uh, is here. Uh, in, in terms of the negotiation process, mutual adaptation, imposition, uh, accommodation, and relative autonomy. Uh, I think the Iris Oyama case is uh, lo uh, imposition. Uh, the parent firm culture is very strong, uh, local culture is weak, but Lotte uh, case is uh, accommodation case. So this is kind of uh, hypothesis we would have, but. Uh, we are not conclude uh, they are belong to this. So uh, we may need to uh, collect some more or the interview data to uh, make a conclusion. Thank you for your attention.